Okay, why am I telling you this? Because if a merchant's a problem, the money dealer, the money lender is an even bigger problem. So unreal what they do. They don't make anything. Yeah, but in a system like ours, particularly like ours, we now depend on these people. And the dependence is very real. Let me explain. The people who produce sweaters or hamburgers or haircuts, they are dependent on your buying that stuff. Otherwise, they go out of business. You all understand that. You have a job in a company making something because somewhere someone's buying whatever that company is producing, and if they stop buying, you're going to get fired. So your work, your job, your real production is dependent on the buyer somewhere. Now let's suppose, and this has happened in every capitalist system, the buyers, for whatever reason, aren't sufficient. They aren't able to buy enough stuff to keep you in the job. How has the system solved the problem? The answer is credit. It goes to people who don't have enough money to buy stuff and says, I tell you what, let's cut a deal. We will give you the stuff you don't have to pay now. You can pay tomorrow, next month, next year. We're going to let you... And that saves your job, because if you didn't give them credit, they couldn't have bought that stuff and you would have got fired. So don't think credit is about somebody else. You're part of a system where everything depends on credit. You do know that, right? The local store where you buy a, a plastic water bottle, the bodega where you pick up the water when you're thirsty, and you use your credit card. That's a credit card. Hint, that's a loan. You're actually borrowing money from the bank. You get the statement at the end of the month in order to pay the $1.50 for that water. Credit. The reason that bodega's in, in, in business, the reason they accept a credit card for a $1.50 bottle of water is because they would go out of business if they didn't. Everybody depends on credit. And who handles the credit system? The money people. The banks. Credit cards are issued by banks. Loans are made by banks. Loans keep this system going. So you can use whatever words you want, but the notion that there's something real over there and there's something only phony money over here misunderstands the relationship. Not only is there credit, but once there is credit, everybody adjusts to credit. For example, just to drive it home to you, many of you have, if you're lucky, a pension system that you've contributed to in your lifetime so that when you reach 65, you will have a decent old age. Okay? Now, that credit, that pension, is building up the money, hopefully, that it can use to give you that money that it's promised you when you're 65. One of the things pension companies do is they take the money withheld from your check, and you know what? They feed it into the credit system. That money that goes into your pension fund is then circulated out, put in a bank, and lent to you so you can buy the water at the bodega. So if you get rid of the credit system, kiss your pension goodbye. This is a system all of whose parts have adjusted to a credit-riven system. I'm not saying that's a good idea. I just want you to understand that's how this system works.